A few weeks ago, we had a group of faculty and students attend the American Dental Education Association Fall Meeting in Columbus, Ohio. I'm here with Drs. Vogt and Dr. Dunning, who attended the meeting, and like to hear from them. Let's start with you, Dr. Vogt. What do you feel is the importance or the value of participating in these national meetings? I would say that um, you probably heard the expression, if you um, are not at the table, you possibly could be on the menu. And um, if the IDEA is the um, representative voice of dental education, and then I feel it's imperative that the College of Dentistry not only be um, in attendance at those meetings, but actively engaged in those meetings. Um, I personally have the opportunity to attend the section in um, admissions, financial aid, and student affairs, commonly referred to as uh, a FOSA. And, uh, you know, I just try to go into those meetings with uh, um, open ears and open eyes. and. Uh, it's an opportunity for me to acquire new information, uh, get new perspectives, uh, best practices. Um, so, um, just you know, very thankful for that opportunity. And Dr. Dunning, yes. as our representative to the Council on Faculties, right. <clears throat> could you provide your perspective? You know, what did you glean from sure. this meeting? Absolutely. Uh, attending the IDEA uh, meetings and participating in them is all about community, as, as you have said. And if you're not at the table, then you can't address the issues that are arising in dental education. And one of the key issues that was discussed, I know at the dean's meeting and also among the council of faculties and, and indeed the plenary session in Columbus focused on faculty wellness, life uh, work balance and avoiding burnout and if you are burned out how do you not <laughs> how do you get healthy again and then another big issue that uh, um, came up was uh, the graying of our faculty which we all know but i wasn't really quite aware of how gray we are getting so that like 44 percent nationally of our faculty are 60 years of age uh, or older and so recruiting and retaining and keeping those faculty well over the long haul will be an issue that needs to be addressed all yeah, the time. Absolutely. Well, I want to thank both of you for your participation in the meeting and for your wonderful representation of the college. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Appreciate it. So Franny Hollinger and Abby Peters, you also had the opportunity to attend the IDEA Fall Conference. And I'm just really curious to hear, you know, what your perspective was on the meeting, but also maybe describe for us what your role is with IDEA. Franny, why don't you start? Yeah. Um, so I'm the District 8 Commissioner. Um, so I'm in charge of eight schools um, who also have IDEA chapters and making sure that they're growing and adding new members and having engaging content with their um, local schools. Um, so at the meeting, um, I think it's really important to stay nationally involved um, just because of the changing environment and the new changes that are coming in our dental education um, and also getting to connect with the other students um, at other schools really has helped me understand um, why Nebraska is such a great school and all of the new changes that we can bring in to make it even better. Terrific. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. Abby, your and thoughts? I, I'm Abby and I was the previous member at large um, for the National IDEA and then now I just serve as kind of a liaison to Franny who's our president mm -hmm. and um, we learned a lot, I learned a lot over the past four years going to these meetings and this most recent meeting we met with um, the rest of the Council of Students and we talked about how we can in introduce um, technology into uh, academics and the way that those they don't have to be in strife they can go hand in hand so we talked a lot about uh, what other schools do mm -hmm. with technology whether it be like with testing or during classes so we talked about that and I thought that was an important thing to bring back to the College of Dentistry just because we're kind of um, starting to do a lot more with technology I think this year so that was one important thing that I brought back that's wonderful and I just want to thank you both not only for representing us nationally, 
but importantly what you do each and every day here on the local front in terms of leading our college and our students forward and representing ADEA. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you.